This week we're talking about one way to carry concealed more comfortably. I'm Joe Kurtenbach, this is Lock, Stock & Barrel. Earlier this year at the NRA annual meetings and exhibits in Dallas, Texas, I actually had a few free minutes and I was able to stop into a special session hosted by Jeff Gonzalez, who is a former Navy SEAL and the lead instructor, owner, operator of Trident Concepts, which is a nationally recognized uh, tactical training group. His special session was focused on the topic of fundamentals of concealed carry. And one of the first points Jeff made was that you need to carry comfortably. It needs to be comfortable to carry, especially when you're talking about concealment. And here's how the argument goes. Basically, if you are uncomfortable, you're going to be fidgeting and possibly even adjusting your, your belt, your holster, your firearm, which is going to lower your level of concealment. On the other hand, you may become so uncomfortable that you don't carry at all, which of course, if you are choosing uh, to pursue personal defense as a armed citizen, uh, not having your gun on you is, is not a great way to start a conflict, which hopefully never happens, but if it does, you'd be missing the tools. So on the other hand, if your carry rig, the way you choose to carry your firearm is very comfortable, you're going to increase your concealment because it's going to be very natural with the movements of your body. You're not going to be fidgeting with it. You're going to know where it is and not need to think about it again until that time should come, which hopefully it doesn't, but if it did, you would be ready and you would be well concealed so you'd have you know, that element of surprise and also the equipment you need on hand. So for anyone that is pursuing concealed carry or choosing to defend themselves uh, with a firearm, there's a lot of time and energy spent thinking about what size gun, what brand of gun, what chambering do I need. Uh, but I think to Jeff's point, uh, and, and th something that I have come to agree with as well through personal experience, making sure that your overall carry rig is comfortable it's a very important thing and one that we don't spend enough time on. It's really easy to think about guns and bullets. Uh, a lot less time is spent thinking about, hey, maybe I need a proper belt to carry this uh, comfortably all day long. So following the carry comfortably line of thought and going back to Jeff's point and, and one of the products he suggests, and I fully agree with given my experiences, uh, a good gun belt is essential and a good gun belt is made even better if you are able to make micro adjustments with it. And now what do I mean by that? Well, your typical belt is going to have, what, uh, spacing holes every inch or so, which allow essentially for uh, gross adjustments. Whereas a belt with a sliding buckle or a ratcheting buckle, as we've seen, those allow for more minor adjustments, you know, because as we go through our day, whether we're sitting, standing, walking, running, whatever we're doing, our body fluctuates a bit throughout the day, you know, right after a meal, maybe the, the belt line is a little bit tighter, and being able to a, adjust your gun belt without having to take it off and being able to adjust it in small ways to make it, you know, snug but not tight, uh, that's important. You know, it's, it's one thing to have a, a somewhat of a loose belt when you're just walking around, you're not carrying a firearm or anything. But when you hang two pounds of weight off of that belt, if it's a little bit loose, that's going to start flopping. You're going to feel that as you go throughout your day, and it's not going to be comfortable. And again, going back to the main point, if you're not comfortable, you might not carry. So there are several products out there that will kind of fit this need, but one that I want to recommend comes from Crossbreed Holsters, and it's the Crossover Gun Belt. Now the crossover gun belt, it's a one and a half inch wide belt, so it's gonna be right in there with your typical gun belt width, and it's gonna fit all of the belt loops, whether it's dress pants or range pants. So at their core, it's just a good gun belt. It's premium leather, it's about a quarter inch thick, and that's the belt strap and the liner. They're well stitched and they're hand finished, so they look good and they're well made. But most important, they use a sliding belt buckle, which allows for those micro adjustments. You never have to take this belt off in order to loosen it a bit or tighten it a bit. So you can always maintain that snug and secure fit with your holster. Another great thing about the crossover is that Crossbreed offers them in a wide variety of colors from the, the leather. You can get tan, brown, or black. There are, are several different colors of stitching thread that you can get and as well there are several different colors of buckles so a lot to customize there as well and you can really make these to order to fit your style. The crossover belts are offered in uh, quick ship or custom configurations. They usually cost about $90 to $100, which is on par with good gun belts out there. So one other consideration I want to make as we wrap up this video is that when you think about concealed carry, like I said before, there's a lot of thought put into the firearm, into the chambering. 
Um, but you should also consider the other stuff, the holster, the belt, and you should also um, budget for those because as much as you're going to spend on the firearm or maybe you already have the firearm, if you get serious about getting into concealed carry, you should have a couple hundred dollars on hand for a good holster and a good belt. And those two things are going to make it a lot more comfortable to carry every single day. So for more on the crossover belt, you can go to crossbreedholsters.com. And of course, stay tuned right here for the latest guns and gear at AmericanRifleman.org.